Hi all, I'm Anna and I work at Sydney Visa Migration Agency. As all states and territories of Australia have now opened 2022-2023 Skilled Migration Program, I think it's time to discuss states and territories nomination requirements. Today I will tell you about nominations for Skilled Visas 190 and 491 in Victoria. If you are interested in Australian migration, you may wish to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications on to be alerted when new videos are uploaded. In the beginning of this video, I would like to inform you that state nomination requirements are frequently revised and that you should visit Victoria's Skilled Visa Program page for the most recent information. This program offers two immigration routes the Skilled Nominated Visa Subclass 190 and the Skilled Work Regional Provisional Visa Subclass 491. Victoria's Skilled Migration Program is now open to applicants living in Victoria and overseas. It means that anyone with a successful outcome from their skills assessment and English test can submit a registration of interest. Please note that if you submitted a registration of interest during last year's program, you will need to submit a new ROI to apply for this year's program. After submitting your ROI via the Living in Melbourne website, you will need to wait for invitation. Please be advised that ROI is not an application for nomination and applicants must wait until the ROI is invited. Your ROI will remain in the system for selection until it's withdrawn, selected or the program year ends. The final day to submit your ROI in Victoria this year is Friday, the 5th of May 2023. The good news about the current criterion in Victoria is that applicants no longer need science, technology, engineering and mathematics or STEM skills and employment in the target sector to qualify for a visa. However, the following occupation groups will be prioritized. Healthcare and social services, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, advanced manufacturing, digital and innovation economy, chef, cook, accommodation and hospitality managers, early childhood, secondary and special education teachers. Let's talk about eligibility criteria for visas 190 and 491. To be eligible for subclasses 190 and 491 nomination, you must meet the following requirements. You must have had your registration of interest selected, be under 45 years of age, have at least competent English, have a valid skills assessment in an occupation on the eligible skill occupation list for these visas, have achieved at least 65 points on the Australian Government's points test for your expression of interest in skill select, you must commit to living in Victoria. You can't be nominated or have an application with another state or territory and either live in Victoria or be offshore. If you are in Victoria, you must provide evidence of your residence there at the time you submit your nomination application. If you reside in Australia but not in Victoria, you are not eligible for Victorian nomination. If you reside in another Australian state or territory, you will be required to move to Victoria before you are eligible for Victorian nomination. Please note that there is no minimum time requirement for you to have lived in Victoria to be eligible for nomination. If you are living offshore or outside of Australia, you are eligible if you meet the other criteria I told you about before and you can submit a registration of interest. Let's take a look at the application process for a nomination. Step 1. Submit your expression of interest via Skill Select. Step 2. Submit registration of interest on the Live in Melbourne website. Step 3. Complete a nomination application if selected. And Step 4. Submit Skilled Visa application after you are invited. Please be advised that you cannot update your ROI once it has been submitted and you cannot submit a separate ROI for each subclass. If you wish to change the subclass or anything else on your ROI, you must withdraw the existing ROI and submit a new one. Some important thing to remember, after you are invited by Victorian government at step 2, you will have only 14 days to submit your nomination application. 
what documents to provide if selected to apply for a nomination. First of all, you must support all your claims of employment and earnings with documents in your nominated application. Uh, and when you submit your nomination application, your skills assessment outcome letter and your English test certificate must have at least 12 weeks uh, validity remaining. If you have any issues or would want our assistance with the 190 and 491 nomination, please contact our team via the email address or phone number displayed on the screen and we would be happy to assist you. If you are just in the beginning of your migration journey, please complete one of our questionnaires. We left the links in the description below this video. One of our team members will reply you shortly. Please remember that subscribing to our channel will keep you up to date on immigra Australia's immigration policies. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.